Hi guys, Nicole Herrick here with you. Just wanting to take you through a little tutorial on how to submit your website to Google for the first time using Google Webmaster Tools, uh, how to index it and also how to fetch as Google. Okay, so we're just going to type in web, whoops, Webmaster Tools into Google. Uh, it'll come up here and it says Google Search Console. So we click on that. And you need to sign in to your Google account, whichever one you use, whether it's a Gmail account or something. Okay, and it'll bring you to your search console. So I already got a lot of um, websites in here that I manage. Um, so the first thing we're going to do to add the website is add a property. I'm just going to grab my one that I want to do the um, example of. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to open the, um, the one here. Now, I want you to notice up here that this doesn't have the www in front of it. So we do have to add this website address plus the website address www as a separate property okay but we'll just start with this one so I've copied that I'm just going to paste it into here okay take off that last little bit there and add give it a sec okay uh, so now we need to add um, a you need to tell Google that you own that website so for this one, this is a Shopify website. So what I suggest would be to add an alternate method. And if I go HTML tag. All right, so what I need to do is copy this text here. So Control C or Apple C. And I need to go into my back end of my Shopify site. And I need to go into the customized theme. I need to go here, sorry. Edit HTML, CSSS. All right. So you would do it in, you need to click in theme liquid. Open that up. And just below head, uh, hit enter and then paste. And then there you have your Google site verification. Now I'm not going to save this because um, I'm not wanting to add this particular one to my site because it's going to be in the client's own. But once you've done that, it might take half an hour, an hour before the verify happens, but you would then just click verify. And then it would say, okay, cool. If it says, no, I'm sorry, we can't verify it. Don't worry. Just um, wait another half an hour um, and try again. In some cases, it might even take longer. Now, if you are using um, Wix to create your website, you can add a text record is probably the easiest. So figure out where you got your domain name from. I think it's from this one. And it'll give you a site verification code. So we want to do a text record. So we just copy this and we go into our Wix account. And we go into manage domains because you can change the um, the DNS settings in. Oops, is that where I want to go? I want to go here. So if I go to, I mean domains, I want to go to advanced, and I want to edit the DNS, and I want to go down to text records. Uh, click add another and then just paste the Google site verification into that text value. It'll come up as the host name over here and there'll be a blank space there. Change your TLL, the TTL to 30 minutes and then it's important to click save DNS. You might have to wait 30 minutes to an hour and then you can go back to the search console and click verify. Um, it can take less than that, so um, yeah, hope, hopefully it does take less for you. Okay, so once that is verified, I'm going to go back to my search console and show you 
uh, in a different one how to actually do the next step we might use my website there we go all right so the first thing you want to do is submit a sitemap so if I go to crawl and then sitemaps and there's already one existing um, but you need to there with a new one there won't be any sitemaps in here so the first thing um, most sitemaps are just sitemap.xml on the end of your um, webs uh, your home page so we'll go sitemap.xml if you're not sure whether it's that then just click test and it will come up and say test complete view result and that shows that 31 web pages were tested so that shows me that, yep, that's definitely the one. So then you would go back in and type in sitemap.xml and then submit. And that's submitting your um, website for indexing to Google. Now for the next step. So now we want to go and fetch as Google all of our pages. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is fetch and render the home page which is not going to have anything here, just the home page for both desktop and smartphone. So we do desktop, desktop fetch and render, and then we switch to smartphone fetch and render. And then we just want to go to our site and grab each of our pages. So I just want to grab the part after the main domain and paste it in here, desktop fetch and render. And smartphone fetch and render. And go to my next page, just grabbing this, and so on. Desktop. And you want to do that for each of your pages. So each of your main pages, if you have an e commerce website, um, you're also going to have an option to uh, do all of the sub pages, sorry, all the, the linked pages within it, within it. So, but do it for each of your different pages. So I would do this page, grab that one, bring it across, this one, grab that page, bring it across. Now you've only got a certain amount of um, fetch and renders that you can do per month. You can then do them individually. Um, sorry with the links, mm, not really saying that very well. Okay, once you've got them all in, over time they will say, come up and say request indexing. And here's what I mean by um, crawl this URL and its direct links. So if I've got um, an e-commerce website and I've got one page that says all products, one page that says bikinis, one page that says bras, blah, blah, blah. Instead of having to do each individual product page, you would do each main category page, page and you would click crawl this URL and its direct links. Um, there is a monthly quota of 10 um, that you have. So that's why you shouldn't do uh, you should only do your main pages. You can do each of the pages individually after that. You've got 500 submissions per month. Um, yeah, so just do your, your main pages so that it gets all the sub pages of your products. Um, and then after you sort of start submitting a few of these, it'll come up and say, oh, I need, I need you to tell me, give me a bit more verification of what, uh, that you're definitely not a robot. So it'll ask you, you know, choose the, all the vehicles in these pictures and I'll come up and say choose all the street signs in these pictures and that's standard okay once you've done that you are good to go so just do that for all of them and you're done you are submitted to Google hope that helps bye